What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE SmackDown. Here comes The Fiend in Newcastle, England. It's time for Insurrection. Rikishi tried to stop us, but we ain't stopping. Let's start the show. Is my opponent going to beat Rikishi here over in the UK? That is my question. We're gonna find out right quick. Here comes Rikishi to the ring. What is Rikishi gonna say? I did it for The Rock. Well, I heard Rikishi attacked him before we got here. Well, I wanted to say that I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you guys had to see him on this trip out here. I tried to prevent WWE from being laughed at because of him's terrible wrestling. But since him is already here, we have to face the music. But have no worries, I will fight against him because I can make the match look that much better. Him is here. Hurts. Heal. He can't stand the trash talking. Well, him is insulted. Oh, so you're here. Him. Why don't you choose the type of match we're going to be having tonight? Remember, pick an exciting match because your style bores the crowd to death. I mean, there was that match with Seth Rollins and Hell in a Cell. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So hurry up and choose. Tables, submission, he's hardcore. No problem. That's fine with me. And we go to have The Fiend versus Urakishi. He talks to talk, but can he walk to walk? We sense a lot of hatred between these two. What a match it's going to be. But first... There's nobody backstage, so that's lame. I forget what number I have to be in my superstar ratings to get a title match. I honestly, it's been a while. I've forgotten, so let me know in the comments below. But elsewhere, we have Devon and Chavo and Charlie Haas and Rhino. Fatal 4-Way. We also have Kurt Angle, Taker, and Lesnar for that US title. And then Hardcore The Fiend versus Rikishi. So, first match... The winner is Rhino. Gore, gore, gore. Second match for that U.S. title is Kurt Angle defending the championship and pinning Taker. Brock Lesnar not involved in that finish. It's true. It's damn true. Now, The Fiend versus Big Kish. And so, no entrances? No? Really? Okay, sure. That's fine. Fine, that's fine. Welcome to a fine Tuesday, well... A Tuesday, nonetheless. Regardless, Attack Slug's still here doing things with whatever else is happening in the world right now. Oh no, immediate stink face! What the hell? In a cell. Gross. Gross, Rikishi. I don't appreciate the immediate stink face in our matchup here. That's not cool. That's not cool, Big Kish. So, it is Tuesday. Raw was last night. That happened. Before that, though, we have the apparent retirement of Smiley Kylie Ray from wrestling. And again, your, having your mental health in order is more important than being in front of a crowd for wrestling and all the best to her in her future endeavors. Whether or not that ends up being wrestling at some point later on, but right now, getting your brain right, most important thing in the world. So, best of luck to Kylie Ray on that. Now then, we also have the announcement that... I forgot to get a table here. Just get on the table. Just get on the table. Just get on the table, Fiend. Just get on... No, you're not gonna... There we go. I forgot what button it was. I really, really did. Let me in. Let me in. Come on, Keish. We going... Come on, Keish. Get up here. You thong-wearing fatty. What? Bro, are you scared? of the fiend he's scared he's scared also in more important news for this channel we have the fact that on the 10th of november we're gonna have an announcement from aew in terms of whatever they're doing with their video game business which i am very excited to see what that might be like seriously let us know but i'm gonna warn you it could be a phone game like Think about how long it takes to make a proper video game and the fact that AEW's only existed for a year. You're not going to have a good competitive console game in a year. 
That's not how video games work. I'm sorry to say, that's just not the realm of possibility through the table. So, certainly a teaser, but, you know, big quiche with the sledgehammer. I did it for the rock. I did it for the people. And I'm going to pin you on the outside. A two? two? Only a two count. Not enough for Rikishi. Not enough. The Fiend must put you down for good here in the UK. In front of all these great fans here. Cheap pop. Cheap pop. And a suplex. Now then, Rikishi, get up so I can kick you and put that mandible claw down your gullet. And then pin. Oh, stumble. And then pin. A one count. How, Rikishi? Tell me how. Tell me why. There we go. Nice! On to the... See, that's what I don't want to see. Like, and then he botches the landing. That was good. I want to get on this. Nope. I didn't want to pin him, but I'll take it if I can get it. Yeah, I wanted to get on this table, but... We need another spot here on a table, Keish. That's what we need. That's what the fans want to see. Multiple table spots, like Lana. We'll get into Raw here momentarily. Fiend fighting back. The Fiend got all the heart and grit in the world. Taking out Rakishi. Get on the table. I am the table. Now then, Rakishi, you want to go for a ride again? Want to take for a ride? And that didn't do it. I didn't do it. But, guess what? This very well... Oh, come on. I had SmackDown move. I hit the gut kick, and you didn't let me in. Now he's scared. Now he's scared. Okay. You want to finish it in the ring, Rikishi? Is that where we're going? Oh, come on. Cheap shot. Cheap shot. From And really? Really? I don't think so. That's not how the Fiend plays things here, Rikishi. Guess what? You're taking a spin, and that's going to be all she wrote. On the mat, on the outside, a one, a two, and Rikishi, you don't. Sorry. That's right. The Fiend, victorious. I did it for Jim Ross. I did it for Tori. I now have 58 superstar points. I'm going to try at 60, saying, hey, give me a shot at the U.S title but that brings us back to the states here in atlanta georgia the home territory of wcw and here's jim ross what's going on jr thanks for your help last week boomer stoner i don't know why he did it i mean it's vince being vince the man has a black heart anyway be careful just wanted to warn you i'll see you around so, beware of the lethal dose of poison. Okay, backstage area. Is there anybody? Why isn't there anybody to interact with here? Seriously. Like, I mean, I can check on the GM, but I don't think I have enough superstar points to get myself a title shot. Also, she hates me. But, besides the point, what do we got? You are heavily involved in a storyline with Jim Ross and Mystic Man. So, come back when you have free time. Okay, look, I, I, I've I forgotten how that worked. It's been a while. It's been like four years since I played this game. So, Pax Luck versus Eddie, The Fiend versus Ultimo Dragon, and Edge versus The Big Show. So, can your boy defend his cruiserweight title against Eddie? He can. He's still cruiserweight champion. And Ultimo Dragon, it's time to get jobbed out to The Fiend. But Monday Night Raw opened with Randy Orton, uh, who is being Randy Orton. Out came Alexa Bliss, and you thought The Fiend would have attacked Randy Orton, but no, it was McIntyre with the Claymore. Miz tried to cash in. He tried to capitalize, but McIntyre was having none of that, and that ended up being a match later on in the evening. We had what might be the end of Elias and Jeff Hardy. Because you literally had a guitar on a pole match, and that usually would end a feud, and Jeff Hardy won that match. But hey, you never know. Also, we had Mandy and Dana 
taking on your women's tag team champions, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler. Lana got involved, and as a reminder, those five are your match for, like, Team Raw, and that was a thing that happened. R-Truth fought Bobby Lashley, and neither title was on the line in this matchup. Obviously, a quick victory for the Almighty, who has new theme music, right? But afterwards, in comes Drew Gulak, who also gets manhandled and beaten up. But then Lashley puts Gulak on truth for that 1-2-3 and that new 24-7 champion, Drew Gulak. But you would think, wouldn't Lashley want to be Mr. Two Belts? But no, he just kind of, he gets back in the ring and then stands there, which was weird. I didn't understand that part of the whole TV thing, but whatever, man. Things happen. Wrestling is a curious thing sometimes. Like, that's a, be common sense. More belts means bigger paychecks, means more money. But that was not what Lashley did there. It's fine. It's whatever. You know, Lashley looks like money. Smells like money. Now, AJ Styles came out and said, hey, I am the captain of Team Raw. And then we get Keith Lee and Sheamus saying, actually, we didn't agree on that. But then Braun Strowman was like, look, I'm on Team Raw. And they said, no, nah, Braun, you got to qualify. So we, we ended up having a triple threat match here between Braun and Lee and Sheamus. And wouldn't you know it, Braun won that match and is now on that team. So we have a fourth member there of Team Raw for that show in like two weeks. Something like that. Ushigaroshi. Ultimo Dragon, you shouldn't even be here. Like, this is a weird matchup to be happening between these two. So, you know, you gonna get got and handily squished by the fiendish one. But, speaking of, we had the Firefly Funhouse with the cursing Abby, which was pretty funny. Alexa Bliss doing a weird tongue thing. Either a weird long tongue, or it was blood, or like, I'm not sure what that was supposed to be. Uh, but it was weird, it was unusual, and that was how... No, get the... there it is. Twist and complete, shot! He's too close to the ropes, get behind him, get behind him, get behind him! And then... that was not my intention. I wanted to pin him, not do that. Pin! No rope break. No whammies. And a two count. Really, Ultimo Dragon, that's... You should not have survived that. In any... Capacity. Like... I don't think so, man. I don't think so. Now you can get up and get that mandible claw down your... Or that. I wanted to pick you up, but okay. Sure. Sure. Get up, man. Get up and get these hands. And give up. And there you go. And there's... The boss. You don't cross the boss. I want you to listen up. The tragedy that happened to good old JR last week, that could be your future. It will happen to anybody who, who, who does not respect me. And yes, that means you too. I'm gonna teach you some respect. All right. From who? Who's behind me? Oh, it's Goldust. Hey, watch out behind you. Ambush from behind. Can't get in there and stop this. Me? Vince McMahon is a despicable man. But also, the big show beat the rated R superstar. I get a plus one point there. I suppose we can do one more today. Why not? Vince in the ring to open SmackDown. Last week, I showed you some of my greatness. Grapefruits. By inflicting pain and punishment on him without him suspecting a damn thing. But I still don't feel the respect I deserve. Acknowledge me. So tonight, I'm going to continue to inflict pain. Him? You got a match against Goldust and Mysterio tonight. What a bully. Can you believe this, King? Dot, dot, dot. King? I can't stand it anymore. I'm going to help him out. King? It's a tag team match, player. Holla, holla. Meanwhile, in the corridor, you could talk to Vince McMahon. Let's do that. Hey, Vinny Mac. Did you guys... What's your nail, kid? How are you today, sir? Why would I... I'm in a feud with Vince. Uh, I want to fight somebody. Oh, something wrong with the match that Stephanie booked? 
You booked the match, Vince. You were just... This makes no sense. Who do you think you are, damn it? When did I ask for your opinion about this match card? I don't have time for your ignorant requests. Just do your job. Get ready for the match. Discussion closed. Made him mad. SP minus one. Man, look. Look. Boo. I say boo. Kurt and Eddie for that US title. What do we have? Kurt Angle, still your champion. And now, The Fiend and Lawler versus Goldust and Mysterio. Meanwhile on Raw, they had Nia versus Lana. So you had Nia working double duty on this show and completely and totally thrashing Lana. And guess what? Went through a table again seven times now. Seven times through the table goes Lana. This has to be built into something at the show in two weeks, I would imagine. But hey, what a whiner. What a whiner. But that to me would be logical if she goes to a table during the match, uh, during the final and five match, and then somehow ends up winning that match for the team or something along those lines is my, my guess for that. But we'll see. I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. But hey, wrestling. So we had the VIP lounge with the Hurt Beard. No, turn around, Goldust. Turn around and get up and get down. The VIP lounge with the Hurt Business uh, happened and out comes the New Day because what the Hurt Business wants after helping out with Retribution is they want some tag team gold for Shelton Benjamin and for Cedric Alexander. So will they get it? That, that remains to be seen. But that's what they want, right? And so they had the New Day out there. They had a back and forth. And they, had, they had a match. And shockingly enough, Hurt Business won that match. And he tapped. Wow, Goldust. I wasn't even trying there. I was reading my stuff here to see what I was going to discuss next. Like, wow. Sorry, Vince. You failed. Him and King won the match. King, I was very impressed by you. I mean, he's been a wrestler the whole time, so... And then somebody booked Chavo versus Brock, which is hilarious. Hilarious. And of course, Brock Lesnar wins that matchup. And I get my points are even here. I get one for winning and I get one for making Vince mad. So, you know, it evens out. Still at 59 and feeling fine. And that's it for today. Uh, I guess elsewhere on Raw, Tucker was currently in the ring. And lost to Ricochet. If there was any doubt who was the Sean and who was the Marty of that tag team. Man, Tucker looking like a chomp. But after that match, that one minute match where Ricochet won. Out comes Mustafa Ali and has his squad attack Tucker. So Ali being supportive of Otis is canon. Like that, I don't know man, it's weird. And of course... Main event was McIntyre versus Miz and Morrison, and Drew wins that match, but an RKO at the end, and the Fiend laugh, and that was off the air. So, there you go. That was Raw. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos. I'll see you next time, right here. And I'm out!